This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with a quick overview of working with vector graphics to hopefully give you some inspiration for what you can do. And here in PowerPoint, I have a zipper vector graphic from our friends at getmygraphic.com. And the beauty of a vector graphic is first off, holding the shift key, I can resize the graphic without losing any of the image quality. And I can then change the font size or the text size to fit the graphic. And I'll hit Control Z twice to undo that. But more importantly is that you can ungroup the graphics. So I'll hit Control Shift G once on my keyboard and you can see it breaks into groups. I can hit Control Shift G a second time and even a third time, which breaks the graphic down into individual PowerPoint pieces that I can then format however I see fit. For example, I can now select the light bulb down below. I'll quickly make it yellow. I'll select the key, hit Control Y to redo. I could also type text, keys to success directly into the graphic and I could continue on until I had something like this, which doesn't exactly match our formatting guides, but it just gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can do. Now, besides formatting everything, back here with my original graphic, I can also rotate the object. So I'll hit Control Shift G once, twice to ungroup down to the zipper group level. Holding the Alt key on my keyboard, I can hit the left arrow key a number of times to rotate the zipper. And holding the Shift key, place the zipper so that now the zipper is zipping my slide open instead of zipping it closed. And I can alternatively rotate the entire graphic. Here I've rotated it vertically and rearranged the icon, which gives the layout a different look and feel. Or I can rotate it all the way to the other side of the screen to get a different effect. Now getting a little bit more advanced with your vector graphics, and here's the original vector graphic again, with a little bit of time and technique, you can extend them. And here I've taken it halfway across my slide, which if you're interested, you can see how I did this in our other vector graphic tutorial here on YouTube. So vector graphics like this from our friends at getmygraphic.com is a fast and easy way to get started with your slide layouts while still retaining the flexibility of being able to customize the graphic to fit your message. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training and I'll see you at happy hour.